Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, let's talk about a very, very, very interesting plane, I think. And uh, actually a plane that most of you guys probably haven't heard about yet. And uh, that is going to be the Evector EV-55 Outback. Built by the aircraft manufacturer of Evector, which is a name that most of you guys haven't heard of yet either. Yeah, Evector is an aircraft manufacturer from the Czech Republic. And they have come out with a few planes before, but they haven't really been successful yet. You know, some of you might know their sports star plane that one is actually not that bad but today let's talk about the ev55 now this is a very very interesting turboprop plane i think and it's uh it's built for a very special market and that is the i call the super short haul market if that makes sense and if that even exists you know we have talked about planes like this before you know we have had the twin otter which is also a very very nice turboprop plane yeah this is the twin otter we have talked about this plane a lot. Planes like this are capable of uh, doing a lot. <laughs> they are very rugged. They can land on any runway, pretty much. I mean, we have even operated the Twin Otter on, an, on a helipad, right? Yeah, these are probably my favorite planes. I can fly them everywhere. There you go. You can just take off in a jiffy, thanks to these very powerful turboprop engines. And yeah, planes like this are incredibly successful. They are used all around the world, especially the Twin Otter, especially for things like island hopping or in the the middle of nowhere, somewhere in the bush. There's quite a market for planes like this. But there's one problem about the Twin Otter, for example, and it's uh, its age. You know, this is not the most modern plane, and it's kind of aging as well. You know, we have small windows and all that stuff. It's not that efficient anymore. You know, we don't really have, like, complex modern wing designs or anything. And also, the cockpits are aging quite a bit. And that is where the Evector EV55 Outback comes into play, I guess. Oh, here we go. This is the EB-55 in a pretty special livery, I think. Uh, yeah, we do have quite a difference here, obviously. This is a pretty modern cockpit. This uh, yoke is very interesting, though. Jesus, what the hell? Uh, it looks it looks fine on the cockpit side. Definitely more modern than the Twin Otters or something like the Dornier 228. Uh, looks fine. Now, this aircraft can also carry quite a few passengers. This actually kind of reminds me of the Cessna Caravan. This one can carry up to nine people, which is not that bad. And, uh, uh, especially it can carry a lot of cargo, which is also important for operating in, for example, the Outback. Because, you know, the name of the aircraft is Outback. That is all interesting, but let's actually talk about the flying part. Uh, let's see how this works. Just go full power. Oh, wow, there's a lot of power here. Jesus, there we go. Let's see. We do actually need quite a long runway. This is uh, kind of worrying, but, you know, there we go. Something that's nice about this plane is that it can retract gear, which is obviously good for uh, efficiency and, and speed as well. Looking good. And we are actually going quite fast. This is uh, quite a quick one. Very nice. Oh, yes, this has uh, very modern features. You know, the windows are very very, very big. Very nice. Can have nice view out of this plane, I guess. As you can see, we also have winglets and an interestingly shaped wing design, I guess. It flies as well. That's good. No, this is uh, quite nice. We also have a T-tail design here, which is interesting. And well, what can I say? This is a plane and it does fly. That's all good. But let's actually do some testing now. I was not supposed to open that door. Now, you know, a plane like this, it is obviously supposed to be able to fly at very interesting places. Let's actually go to the shortest runway that exists. Actually, that is Skyline Airport. Yeah, this one has a 140 meter long runway. We checked that one out a few days ago. So this is going to be interesting. The only plane that I was really able to land there was the Twin Otter. Yes. Is the EV-55 also able to fly here? Let's find out. All right. Welcome uh, to the middle of nowhere. We are in Idaho. Yeah, this plane is probably not supposed to be flying somewhere in the US. I think they built this aircraft especially for like maybe poor country, maybe poor regions like Africa. There's a lot of bush airfields in Africa, or uh, maybe Asia, maybe Nepal. Let's actually go fly there as well later on. But first of all, let's see if we can fly this plane to Idaho. Uh, this runway is so small that you cannot really see it properly. It's actually down here. <laughs> this is going to be a very interesting landing. You know what I like about this plane as well is that it's very, very much quiet. That's pretty nice. Damn it. That was a really bad landing. Jesus Christ. Okay, actually, this was a pretty fast stop as well. This plane, it seems rugged enough for a very, very bad landing. Jesus Christ. I don't even want to watch it, but I kind of need to see it. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, we stopped though. That's that's pretty cool, right? Yeah, let's maybe go to a little bit of a more uh, approachable place. Uh, how about Lukla? Yes, we're actually going to Nepal now. This is counted as the most dangerous airport in the world, and I think it's it's kind of true. This one has not even a 500 meter long runway, so this is going to be interesting as well. Actually, this plane it's supposed to be flying at high altitude airports, so this will probably not be that much of an issue. But let's find out. All right, welcome to the mountains on board the EV55 again in the special living. Let's see if we can fly this plane to Lukla. Just like in Idaho, only the Twin Otter is probably a suitable plane to fly at this place. So, well, let's find out if the EV-55 is also able to fly here. And this approach itself is very dangerous as well. All right, I think I kind of pushed it too hard here on the landing, right? Yeah, I was, uh, of course, only trying to test out the landing gear capabilities of this plane. You know, how rugged is the landing gear? Uh, it, it's fine. All right, welcome to the Caribbean, another place where planes like this are used a lot. Uh, let's see if the EV-55 could fly here as well. Now, yes, I say could because, you know, there's a, a minor problem about this plane, I guess. It had its first flight in 2011, and ever since then, nothing happened, really. Yeah, only two of these planes were built, pretty much, and these were for testing purposes, which is, uh, pretty sad. Now, yes, it's even come this far that the manufacturer of this plane, they suspended the development in 2017, meaning that this plane is, uh, I guess, not coming out, which is pretty weird. I mean, this seems pretty solid. This plane is, uh, it's kind of, it's kind of cheap, actually. I mean, it's four million, and for an actual airliner, four million is probably not too bad, but, uh, let's go ahead and see if we can land here in St. Barthelemy. Oh, this is going to be an interesting landing as well. I think we actually have quite a lot of winds going on as well. I can feel that. Oh my god. I'm really not good with the landings today, right? Oh wow, that was actually a very, very quick stop again. That was pretty nice, huh? Alright, perfect. Now yes, the developer of this plane probably ran out of money to properly produce this plane. They actually did have enough money to get all the certifications going, but yeah, maybe this plane is still gonna happen though. I mean, uh, it's all done pretty much. It does seem like they really just need money to produce this plane, so maybe they will find an investor soon enough. I don't know, but this is kind of cool though, not gonna lie. So yeah, guys, uh, what do you think about the Vector EV55 Outback? And that's where one's changed this ugly livery. Oh, wow, this looks even worse. All right, let's go for the default one. <laughs> but yeah, you know what? It would really be cool to have like another aircraft manufacturer rise up. Uh, so it would be cool if this plane happened. And it's again, it is pretty nice, pretty solid. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching today's video. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night.